Hey guys, I'm Abhi, and in this video, we're going to talk about the seven habits of an efficient software developer. So, without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. Number one, code consistently. Like every other thing in life, if you want to get good at something, you need to do it consistently, right? If you want to become a good football player, you become, you play football every day and you get better at it, right? Coding is similar as in the more you write code and the more you software, the more projects you work on, the better you get at it. So, you know, code consistently and as a natural extension of that, also try and read other people's code, right? So if you have some favorite libraries and open source softwares, go to their GitHub link and, you know, try to read their code, try to read the source code of react for example and try to understand how it's working behind the scenes maybe even try to replicate it and build your own version of it yourself right so definitely code consistently it improves your coding skill if it improves your type uh, if you if it improves your efficiency and speed and everything uh, so yeah that's the first one okay number two take breaks right it's very important to take breaks while you're doing anything right if you do too much of any single thing not only will you get bored of it and get sick of it you will also find yourself getting to a stage where you're getting burnt out right i am personally not a believer in that culture where you hustle 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 and keep building keep doing keep doing and don't take any rest i think that takes a toll on your body and your mental health so it's very important to take breaks you know do something else like for example i like to play the guitar or travel around or you know explore new cities and new places and stuff like that so definitely find something that you like doing apart from your work or apart from coding so take breaks you know do painting play video games watch netflix whatever do take breaks i think that's an essential part of growing as a software engineer as it is of growing as a person all right number three is learn the art of googling right i think Searching on Google and just searching for something online is really important as a software engineer and you will get into a lot of problems while doing your daily work. You will get into a lot of problems that you haven't solved before. You know, you'll get stuck. You will inevitably run into errors and things that you have never, you don't know how to solve. So you need to learn how you can actually go to Google and, you know, search for these problems because chances are that this is not the first time someone is facing this problem, right? Many people before you have faced the same problems and have found solutions on websites like stack overflow and uh, you know there are plenty of websites online that will offer you good solutions to your problem so learn how to google your problems effectively and quickly find the right solution within the first few minutes right so that's that's something that you will get better at with practice number four is learn continuously right especially for web development i think your learning never stops i'm a full stack developer myself and i learn i still learn new things every single day so basically it is you start out at some point where you pick up some stack or you pick up some language or some some framework where you start building things with that but it doesn't end there right you will eventually get into features and get into new things that you have to build that you don't know how to build or that you haven't built before right just recently i was building this uh, event management system where i was tracking events and adding them to the calendars and stuff like that so i had never done that before never interacted with the google calendar api and stuff like that so i think there's everything there'll be something new for you to learn every day and depending on what you're building so whatever new feature you build so right then and there you will learn something new and you will build it and that's it right so you learn build learn build and that's how it goes and that's how your learning improves and you keep learning new things every single day depending on what you work so get into the habit of learning continuously and learning really well right so as one of the most important skills of a software developer is to learn how to learn and learn effectively and learn fast right because there'll be new technologies and new paradigms and new protocols and just new things happening every day in the tech world right so you need to be in the habit of reading you know a lot of blog articles keep coming up you need to get in the habit of reading documentation right i think the best way to learn a new technology is to go to their official documentation and read it out completely right i think that's where the most of the resources and the best and the most uh, you know specific and accurate resources can be found apart from tutorials and stuff like that so get into the habit of learning continuously number five stop watching and start doing right i mean in today's world World with all these amazing tutorials on YouTube and all this content online it becomes very easy for us to go into that mode where we are watching all these videos where the person is building something and it's really cool to look at you know this person is building a clone of Netflix with react right it's great that you see all this and you feel inspired and it's it's natural to it's natural for you to feel that you have learned everything and you, you can do this yourself now but unless you actually do it unless you actually build that thing on your local machine and make it work Trust me, you haven't learned much, right? It, it's very easy to feel like you've learned everything they did and you can do it by yourself. But unless you actually do it and put it into practice, 
it's it's it chances are you will forget things or you will miss out on the little things the little annoyances the errors and some random stuff that keeps popping up so unless you get into the habit of building things yourself you know build all these projects for real have it on your local machine and make it work and maybe show it off to your friends so get into the habit of building and not just watching videos Okay number 6 learn to use open source software and to contribute to open source software i think it's a great way to learn to program and learn to build real software real apps right because even even before you actually get a job and get to work on real projects you can kind of get that experience by working on open source project right that's why it's really big among a lot of uh, good solid software engineers is that they have already contributed to open source because it's essentially like a company right the work that i do at my job is very similar to the work that you would do as an open source contributor right so for beginners you can find very simple issues go to simple go to your favorite open source projects right so i like react or you know python software foundation or there is uh, there are plenty of op- there's plenty of open source software out there i think we use some on we use we come across open source software every single day you can just pick any of your favorite library right you don't even have to contribute to react itself you have some library called react carousel for example just go to their go to their github page and there might be some small issues try to find that issue and you know try to fix it send in a pull request and you know maybe it gets accepted and then you then that's how you start contributing to open source it not only improves your skill as a software engineer it gets you used to a lot of skills not just you know writing the code solving the problem itself but also you learn github and you learn how to make commits and make pull requests and how to get your code merged to the master branch so i think there's a there's a huge learning curve there and there's a lot to learn by contributing to open source and i think that's a great way for beginners to get started to get the feel of how the work of a software engineer is like and to also add to your experience in the same time so yeah definitely contribute to open source and it's one of the best way to skill up as a software developer okay finally the last but not the least and in my opinion is the most important thing is to learn to write readable code right you have to you have to learn to write very good and sort of beautiful code that you know you can understand and everyone else can understand right it's very easy to as engineers and especially as students we get in the habit of writing you know very sharp and smart and cryptic code that only we understand and we find it cool that you know this is some sophisticated piece of code but trust me the best code in any software is the code that every single person even a newbie can understand right and if you look at more senior engineers and senior software developers they write such beautiful and easy to understand codes right little things like just naming your variables the right way and following good conventions and good practices and you learn all this by reading other people's code right just go on to your favorite open source framework like i said go to the github link read the source code of cassandra for example right read the source codes of anything read the source code of vue js for example just pick your favorite library you can read the source code of express just go to their open source uh, sort of github repository or wherever they hosted their code and start reading their programs right i mean it it's tough in in the beginning it's very hard to understand what's going on and how this is working but if you keep at it you know get into the habit of reading code and understanding how people are writing this because most of these open source software have amazing quality of code and you know you can understand things they are very well documented documentation is another very important thing when you're writing any program right try to document it try to write doc strings and you know support your so if you write a function just write a doc string so that someone else who might come across it uh, you know might actually get help from you know your doc string to understand what that function does it's a great practice and i think you should definitely think about other humans who are going to read your code more than the machines which are going to read or translate your code right you need to be thinking about other humans who are going to read your code as well so definitely write readable and more human friendly code i think that's one of the qualities of really good software engineers and yeah that brings me to the end of this video i hope you like this video if you did smash that like button leave a comment down below if you have any other questions and yeah that's it thank you for watching